In this video, I wanted to briefly talk about the new 4 star weapons that are being added in the phase 1 of 4.1 and see which characters can potentially use them and consider subscribing for more videos like this and in this one, I will also let you guys know what materials do you need for your ascensions so write them down if you need to and let's start the video but first I will talk about the new 5 star signature weapon for Nouvellete which is called Home of Eternal Flow which at level 90 will have 542 base attack with 88.2 crit damage and the weapon's passive description at refinement rank 1 is HP is increased by 16% and when the current HP increases or decreases charge attack damage will be increased by 14% for 4 seconds with a maximum of 3 stacks this effect can be triggered once every 0.3 seconds when the character has 3 stacks or the third stack's duration refreshes, 8 energy will be restored and the energy restoration effect can be triggered once every 12 seconds. Which pretty much is what Nouvellet needs for its most damage potential and I doubt a lot of other Catalyst users can use this weapon because they cannot fluctuate their HPs like Nouvellet can. Let's talk about the ascension materials for this weapon. You will need 23 Rift Cores, 27 Foreign Synapses, and 41 Alien Life Core, which can all be obtained by tracking Breacher Primus in your Adventure Handbook. And you will also need 15 Meshing Gear, 23 Mechanical Spur Gear, and 27 Artifice Dynamic Gear. You can track down Clockwork Mecha in your Adventure Handbook to collect these. And for the Weapon Ascension materials, you will need to visit Echoes of the Deep Tides Domain in Fontaine and Farm on Tuesday, Friday and Sundays for 5 Dross of Pure Sacred Dewdrop and 14 Sublimation, 14 Spring and 6 Essence of Pure Sacred Dewdrop, which is all currently available in the game before 4.1. Now that we briefly talked about this new 5 star weapon, let's go to the new 4 stars that are gonna be included in the 4.1 phase 1 weapon banner. Starting off with the new 4 star sword, Dog Hands Assistant. This weapon is going to be really good for those sword users that rely on HP for either their damage or supporting capabilities. It also provides some elemental mastery buff that will be handy for elemental reactions since when the wielder is healed or heals others they will gain a stoic symbol for 30 seconds with a maximum of 3 symbols at once and as of using elemental burst or skill it consumes all the symbols and you will gain 40 elemental mastery and after 2 seconds restores 2 energy per symbol and the rouse effect can be triggered once every 15 seconds and symbols can be gained even after a character is not on the field and at level 90 it will provide 510 base attack with 41.3% HP and based on the description of this weapon it seems like it's going to be a good one for characters like Nilu who scales off of HP although you might need a way to fluctuate your HP for the weapon's passive but the main stat of HP will help her damage potential a lot in Bloom teams. And I think three other characters like Layla for more HP to help her shield be stronger, and Kukishinobu since she needs more HP and elemental mastery, and Kirara for a stronger shield as well. They can all use this weapon more effectively, and since we barely have any HP swords available, this is a good opportunity for these characters to shine even more now. For the ascension of this weapon, you will need operative pocket watch material that will be available from the new enemy types in 4.1 which will be 15 old operative pocket watch, 18 operative standard watch and 27 operative consistency which will surely be trackable through your adventure handbook from the new Fatoi enemies. But you will also need transoceanic materials such as 10 transoceanic pearl, 15 transoceanic chunk and 18 xenochromatic crystals which you can track down quantum or aberrant from your adventure handbook. Lastly, for weapon ascension materials, you need to visit Echoes of Deep Tides domain to farm 3 Dross of Pure Dewdrop, 9 Sublimation, and 9 Spring, and at last, 4 Essence of Pure Sacred Dewdrop. And I'm sure many of you guys already have plans for this weapon, and I'm sure you can make use of it. Our next weapon is called Portable Power Saw, which is a Claymore, and at level 90, it will have 454 base attack with 55.1 HP% percent as the main stat. And when the wielder is healed or heals others, they will gain a stoic symbol for 30 seconds with maximum of 3 symbols. Upon elemental skill or burst usage, it will consume all symbols to get rouse effect for 10 seconds. For each symbol consumed, gain 40 elemental mastery and after 2 seconds restores 2 energy per symbol. 
The rouse effect can be triggered once every 15 seconds, and symbols can be gained even when the character is off field. Now for this weapon, we don't really have many Claymore users that will benefit from this, since it can be good for characters that scale off of HP. So now, the only possible options are Dory to increase her healing since her healing is dependent on her max HP, and decent energy buff for a high uptime of her burst, and Deya for her support build to increase her HP, and Elemental Mastery and Energy Recharge buff can be useful for her especially in virgin teams. And Weapon Passive can work with Deya alone at low HP since her playstyle revolves around her constant HP changes so this is probably a great weapon for her. And Sayu may potentially use it but since she depends on her attack for her healing it only benefits her through the weapon's passive and the main HP stat could be potentially useless for this character. And now for the ascensions of this weapon you will need gear materials such as 10 meshing gear, 15 mechanical spur gear and 18 artifice dynamic gear which you can track down clockwork mecha once again from your handbook to collect them. And other mats are 15 rift core, 18 foreign synapse and 27 alien life core, which you can track down pretty sure primus in your handbook to collect these. As for weapon ascension materials that you can farm from domains, you should visit Echoes of the Deep Tides domain on Wednesdays, Saturdays and Sundays. You will need to farm 3 broken goblets of pristine sea, 9 wine goblets, 9 silver goblets and at last 4 golden goblets of pristine sea. Overall I don't think this weapon is that useful but we will see in the future with more characters being added into the game. And our last new 4 star weapon that you can get for free through the event is Ballad of Boundless Blue that is a catalyst weapon which can be obtained in Waterborne Poetry event. This weapon is great for characters whose damage relies on normal and charge attacks as each hit will increase damage for a maximum of 3 stacks. At level 90 it will have 565 base attack with 30.6 energy recharge. Since everyone can get the refinement rank 5 by participating in the event, I will read the passive of this weapon at R5, which is Within 6 seconds after normal charge attacks hits an opponent, normal attack damage will be increased by 16% and charge attack damage will increase by 12%. With the maximum of 3 stacks, this effect can be triggered every 0.3 seconds, which based on its stats, it can work with Yonfei or Klee, and there are potentially other characters that can use this weapon effectively if you can get their other stats by their artifacts, such as Ryothesley and Nuvolet, whose whole strength lies behind his charge attacks and maybe even Wanderer can see some benefits from using this Kallus weapon but we will see in the future after we get this weapon. As for the essential materials for this weapon you will need 10 treasure hoard insignia, 15 silver raven insignia and 18 golden insignia which you can collect them by tracking down treasure hoarder in your adventure handbook and you will also need 15 fragile bone shard, 18 sturdy bone shards and 27 fossilized bone shard, which you can collect them by tracking down Geo Bishop or Geo Bishop Hatchling in your adventure handbook. And for weapon ascension materials, you will need to visit Cecilia Garden Domain to farm these mats on Tuesdays and Fridays, which are 3 Boreal Wolf Tooth, 9 Boreal Wolf Crack Tooth and 9 Boreal Wolf Broken Fang. And at last you will need 4 Boreal Wolves Nostalgia. Overall I believe there are some values to all of these 4 star weapons that are being added but once again I will not recommend wishing on the weapon banner unless you really want to and if you're not a free play player because the pity on the weapon banner is unfair and it's a scam pretty much. So with that in mind I wish you guys all the luck on your wishing sessions on 4.1 and hopefully you'll get any character or weapon that you might need. If you have anything to say let me know down below in the comments and I would love to read them and reply to them. Also consider subscribing for more content like this and I will also be making more videos on phase 2 of 4.1 and you don't want to miss out on those videos. So with all that being said, have a good day or night and peace.